Well hello and welcome to Jim Days, we're back into From the Depth and you're most welcome indeed. Today we are going to look at a little new invention I did that probably someone else has invented many times before me, uh, but anyways, pneumatic seawiz. But in any case, uh, so first off I'll just wanna say Sorry for the little bit lack of content lately, more information about that will of course follow in the monthly update video which I think will be tomorrow or something like that. In any case, huge thanks to our new supporters over at Patreon, our new commissioned officers in the army of Jimidism, Ayak the Boater, and, which is a commander, and Cadet Robert. So. Thanks a lot for joining and supporting the channel here. In any case, we will be going back into this little design here. I have made a... Um, it's an experimental system. You can see it looks like these shots are just disappearing from thin air, basically. They just explode and it's really weird. And what I have been doing, if you look a little bit closer, let's see if... Um, if we can get a volley coming in here again. If they had time to reload. Okay. Here you can see we have super tiny missiles here. So this is a missile interceptor and a piece of fence. And that's all. So it's basically a somewhat guided shot it's kind of like a guided bomb it's unpropelled and these have been trying to turn around to uh, switch to the previous target because of course they are very uh, maneuverable inside here as you might expect we have missile launchers and there are three medium missile launchers in these and they are surrounded on all four sides all the sides that you can put um, well, those air pressure pumps, whatever they are called, ejector add-on. So e e ejector add-on, it's like a pneumatic system. It just pushes out the missile with pressurized air and that makes it gain some speed. So um, because I have four, I can reach the launch speed of 200 meters per second which is about what we'll need if we're going to have uh, sieves missiles. So I made some other uh, sieves missile systems and uh, they work of course very well. The thing is when we are adding uh, like when we're doing a uh, sieves missile like this uh, if we just take some random things so we can look at some sieves system here. Okay, come on. Right not connected to a missile controller, okay, whatever. Let us then, I, I never use this template things. Oh my God. This is weird. Did I accidentally crash the game or something here? Because this is not connect, okay, whatever. This is a cluster system and we're not gonna use that. And now we kind of spawned it in a weird way, don't we? Not connected, this is weird. Oh, never mind. I stopped time, that's why. So basically, when we do a missile interceptor, we have the missile interceptor here, and you can see we have a damage. And it doesn't really matter how large it is, it still does kind of the same damage. You know, if we just go to this medium missile, I'm gonna show you properly. Here we have a missile interceptor here, right? <coughs> and sorry, you can see we have a damage done to small, medium, large, and huge missiles, as here, and to crams, 2,000 to 4,000. And if we go to these tiny things here, you can see these values are exactly the same. And you cannot really change this value, not with just adding reinforced bodies. You can't change it, not adding explosive. You will get explosive damage, but for some weird reason, this explosion isn't counted when you're trying to shoot at uh, incoming things. You can add frags and weirdly enough, these fragments go completely through the enemy projectiles. So it doesn't work to add more. So basically, no matter whatever you have on your system, 
having a missile interceptor will basically mean it's the same damage no matter what. So the little idea behind this uh, pneumatic launcher is of course that if we have a missile interceptor like this, you can see the reload time is 14 seconds. Um, and we have uh, 0 0.57 yeah, materials per second that it's going to use. And if we, if we make this a bit smaller here, Actually, I should have kept the old one so we could compare a little bit better. Uh, we can see that launcher materials per second is a bit lower and the reload time is only 10 seconds. Now, this one is weird, isn't it? Why are you weird? Because I chose the wrong thing here. Here we go. Uh, so, you can see 10 seconds here for 15 seconds there. And the thing is, if we can, what? Why? This one has a lifetime of 40 seconds. And this one 20. I didn't know about that game feature. Okay, that's probably because uh, this could be a mine or something like that, who knows. Yeah. Well, uh, it lives um, shorter when we ha make it a missile, weird. In any case, uh, it's not going to live this long because it's, of course, just going to fall down <clears throat> and go towards the enemy. I would suspect these would be decent against torpedoes too. If they just lay in the water and act as some kind of dead shield around us, that could work too. And it really looks like they kind of disappear a little bit when, uh, <clears throat> uh, like when the shots come in. Because we don't see the the thruster smoke or anything like that. Just going to align it a little bit better so they can get a better shot. And I'm not saying this is the most cost effective way, but it's a pretty quick way to spam medium missile interceptors at incoming targets. And uh, I wanted to have this because mm, Actually, I'm working on a little bit secret project. Um, this is an image I shared to my Patreons and uh, my YouTube members. Uh, I shared several images, but that image is a little bit... I just give you that little, little sneak peek uh, today to everyone. Uh, what I'm working on. And I'm, I'm checking out to make a good... Civs system. So I have been experimenting a little bit and one of the designs I came up with is this experimental pneumatic uh, Civs system. And I must say it works pretty well. Uh, of course I have loads of these turrets here. Each of this turret cost 3000. <clears throat> but there we have 15 of them. Uh, and yeah. They, of course, they overkill the incoming shots a little bit here because the crossbones isn't the strongest thing. Um, for the said project, I don't think I will be using this pneumatic system, but I think it could be really cool for smaller ships because that gives us a cram and missile... Um, basically a little cram and missile defense. Very nice. Just very cheaply um, for smaller targets. I also made a little bit light, um, but I also, so that's the Jimbodism Industries Type X MM Experimental Pneumatic Series. Th I thought it sounded a little bit cool with pneumatic, because it is. In any case, um, by the way, if you are a commissioned officer in the Army of Jimbodism, you can access all of my turrets and all of my prefabs and all of my sub-objects and stuff like that. Um, and I have been working on different designs and uh, as of uploading this video um, That pack should be updated with the latest uh, files So if you have access to those you can check them out and there are instructions included uh, at the download page on how to uh, Where to put the prefabs and sub objects if you don't know so I worked on some other stuff too uh, this is a oh wow yeah this this one is a pretty bit uh, pretty insane i developed this specifically to try and hold the turtle lords cram barrages bay 
And this is like a pretty big advanced medium missile uh, system. It's not pneumatic, it's just as it is like this, normal launchers. <clears throat> um, but there are loads of them and some are set up to target the target of, these, uh, of the civs controller and some are set up to target uh, like coordinate naturally. They have a little bit different APN guidance settings, so they all move in slightly but similar patterns. And that's just to make sure they really take out everything that's incoming. And as you can see, this system is pretty, is pretty useful. As long as it has uh, missiles in it. It doesn't reload as fast as this one, of course. Uh, but it has uh, loads of missiles, but of course one of these costs 30,000 and one of these costs uh, 3,000. So it's like 10 of these is equal to one of these in terms of uh, cost, which is always something we have to uh, think about. But these have a better lifetime, uh, like when, when, when the pneumatics like acceleration has stopped, it just dropped dead in the water. And they lay around here as some kind of weird sieves mine. Might work against torpedoes, haven't tried that, but pretty fun. Yeah, and when we are looking at all of this anyways, I'll, I'll, I'll just need to show you <clears throat> this this thing. Oh, I made I made several. Okay, let's let's go through here. <laughs> this is a new sieve system. I'm just going to remove some of these here so we can see it in action look at that i made a super funny combined seal system this is let's see here how much does it cost it cost fifteen thousand, but i fitted in here kinetic sieves and I, I included the shells because I'm too lazy to set them up each time. So it's a stabilized sabo because I needed the at least 20 armor piercing to tackle incoming crams. <clears throat> and then th this one is a timed flak. And I don't know, I tried to ask some folks why, but I didn't get, really get good answers. So if you know this, please tell me. So my my flak is 402 millimeters. It goes at 267 meters per second. But as you can see at the laser targeter, which I've hidden here under a mimic block, <clears throat> is set up to an offset of 0 0.35 seconds. Because if I don't have this, the flak just seems to straight up miss. You can see there it was almost a little bit too late to like damage them. Uh, but that seems to be the best the best uh, value. Yeah, but anyways, I don't know why I need this delay. Usually zero delay is like good enough. Uh, so this is of course super delayed, but it seems to it it does hit most often. This one is a pretty fast fire little sieve system, 36 millimeters, and then we have uh, six <clears throat> regular um, sieves, anti-missile and anti-cram uh, missiles, medium ones, because they deal great damage. Anyways, let's follow these and see if they blow up in the right direction now. No, look, look, look at that, they blow up too early again. No, I think actually, they were pretty good at damaging the first shot, but uh, yeah. But anyways, you can see it's weird and it's already 0 0.35 uh, 35 seconds. Um, so if you happen to know why they are weird, do tell me why they're weird. I think these look super cool, however. <laughs> I don't think it's very practical because all of these weapons have different speeds. Uh, so they might have a little bit problem <clears throat> to actually properly shoot um, but they look so cool that at this point I can't say I really care you can see they're shooting in there and they're no way near as strong as uh, <clears throat> um, 
as my big missile systems, they're not, but they're combined, they can deal with loads of threats, so I think it's pretty cool. While we're looking at this, I made a dual, dual barrel setup for uh, the Vigoletta Marksman, no, the Vigoletta Skyfire. Uh, unfortunately, I have to create a shell for this. Oh no, I don't want to. I hate creating shells. I actually have it in my pack of stuff here. Let's see here. I'm so lazy that I made a APS diff gun flak shell. And I like to I, I don't like to use the built-in shells to be honest. I like to have the proper shells there because then they are then they are always there, which makes me happy. Alright. This is intakes, assign. Okay. So this is a diff gun, direct input feeded. Added some cool wires to make it connected up like that. And you can see it, it creates a pretty big boom. If we can reload this. Uh, they also have a great area of effect thing. So if we do like that and do like shoot all cramps at once, you can see they, the, the, the jack, this is not the jack of all trades, but this is good at area of effect. So as you can see here, access these intakes uh, 450 ish. You can see, of course, that the kinetic, no, the, the flag damage is 27,000 and the radius is 64 meters. So when we have like three or four shots of this, uh, it will take out um, most cram barrages if it can hit them. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I made some other designs too. Um, oh, and I did, th this one looks super cool. I didn't make this. This is from uh, Setup or Elord on uh, Steam. Um, and he's just designed this amazing diff gun. You can see from when before we spawned it, it's only mimicry that makes it look cool. But this is a uh, flak sieve system, and it just it just looks amazing. I'll have it work for us. I'll just want to show it to you. And I <laughs> I asked him, of course, before I uh, copied this thing and. Uh, it's also built for the army of gymnasium, so it really fits. Yeah, well, that looks super cool there. <clears throat> I made some other designs too, uh, that have the same function. So I, uh, you can see that um, setups manual sieves diff gun costs 1,200 almost. And I try to just cut the cost maximally. So I made the S-Corp Army of Gymnasium Iron uh, 456 Civs Diff Gun, which is even more lightweight. It's also, it's also only uh, mimics like this. It doesn't look like only mimics. Oh wow, we'll need to assign it to something else. There we go. I'm, I'm not sure I'm very happy with the uh, with a setup in terms of uh, my settings on this, but it works well enough. <clears throat> so let's see if we have a volley coming here. Okay, nobody shot it because we need to reload them. Bam! And now another volley comes in. They're just not firing. Why are you not firing? weird hmm that's weird now we fire I don't know I think I think I might have said no it's not very accurate even who knows in any case uh, let's move on it might be my settings that are spooking itself who knows about damage diff guns I thought that having only one gun at a diff is a little bit of a waste, so of course I made the uh, eight barrel variants you've seen before. But recently I made this uh, Kentauri Game BH Twin 499 uh, S cannon, which is of course damage type. 
and okay now we missed here but they deal they deal decent damage of course because it's a 400 millimeter gun like this and um, i think it looks pretty cool it looks star wars ish uh, works very well though yeah i made a lot of stuff my favorite might be however i made something pretty interesting here under decorations um where is it now we have do, 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 do. I made a chandelier. Look at this. It doesn't look quite magnificent. Isn't this needed? Where is this needed, you might ask. And I will tell you, at all future Army of Jumidism designs needs a chandelier. Of course it does. Well, in any case, um, I think that is about it. Uh, I just wanted to show you my pneumatics thing, actually. Let's spawn them back. But we looked at some other stuff as well, because, well, while I have you here, uh, we will be back with more from the depth videos and all that stuff, of course, um, momentarily. And yeah, I was a little bit busy with loads of stuff, so I think um, I kind of overproduced a little bit more than I had time, so I kind of needed some small recovery there and get back to a more proper, um, well, to a little better schedule. Uh, well, more about that as said again in the channel update. I'll be seeing you next time. Hope you have a great time. This is your host, Jim Modest, and we're signing out. Bye-bye.